The cooperative bank is expected to report yet more losses when it publishes its full year results tomorrow morning. And last night, Lord Miners, the man who was brought in to sort out the financial mess of the wider cooperative group, quit. Lord Miners had previously said the group lacked effective leadership. Well, with me now is Ian Chamberlain, a member of the cooperative group and campaigner for the Save the Co-op Bank campaign, I guess that that's, is. That's great. Um, this is a complex, complex business. Try and keep it very, very simple. One chief executive went. Mm. Uh, you in Sutherland. Mm. Uh, Lord Miners has now quit the wider cooperative movement. The wider cooperative movement only owns a third of the cooperative bank now anyway. But it, this is an argument, isn't it, about the traditional way that the cooperative has been run and how re reformers, they think of themselves as, like Lord Miners, how they think the bank, uh, the group, I should say, mm. should change. I'm right, mm. aren't I? Well, I think, you know, we should start off, I think, defending the principles of the cooperative movement, which is the idea that customers or the people that work for a business should own their business that they uh, are involved in and I think that's a good principle it's a principle that's worked very well for 100 and se about 170, 170 years and we should continue to defend that I think the Lord Miners report we haven't seen the full details of the proposals that he was about to make but I think one of the things he was going to say was that there are elements aspects of the cooperative group which are confusing if I was to try and explain how the cooperative group is organized to you now it would take some time so I, I won't I won't I won't do so so, um, it's, a, it's basically a democratic organisation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Me members, one way or another, all have a say. Yeah, that's uh, right. But you can't run a modern business on those lines, critics would say. I think you can. I mean, there are businesses within the cooperative group that are still very successful today. The fact that the bank's suffering um, and perhaps other elements of the cooperative group are failing isn't representative of everything. You know, the pharmacy within the co-op bank and the, sorry, within the cooperative group and the uh, funeral services uh, company, very successful um, parts of the co-op group, um, and for that reason, you know, we're talking about perhaps uh, selling off some of these uh, elements to, you know, plug the the gap in it because of the, you know, loss of the bank. So you do think that breaking up the co-op group in some form. Is, is, is the way forward, the only way forward? I think we need to see some leadership on, 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 on ways forwards. I think we probably do need some reforms so that members understand how it works clearly, so that members of the public understand how the business um, operates. Um, minor, it's disappointing that Lord Miners has left before he was able to fulfil that job and you know he needed to speak to people like myself, campaigners, um, members of the, you know, the wider cooperative group and really persuade them that his vision was the right um, way forward and I don't think he did that. And, br and briefly you're stealing yourself for bad results from the co-op bank tomorrow? Yeah, I think we are going to see bad results um, tomorrow and then perhaps later in the month we're also going to see the results from the cooperative group and I think because of the situation with the bank um, those will probably be quite bad too but I think there is a debate now to be held about whether or not the cooperative bank should indeed continue to call itself cooperative like you said before it's no longer owned uh, there's no longer a majority stake um, for members it isn't really a cooperative anymore. Indeed. Ian Chen, very grateful to you thank you very much indeed. This is BBC News. Coming up in the next few minutes, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the latest from the trial of Oscar Pistorius.